Hi, and welcome to Applying AI with Caprio. Uh, today I have with me uh, Kalyan Sivasailam, who is the founder and CEO of 5C Network, which is India's largest digital diagnostics platform. So why don't you, for our audience, which is sort of a generalist audience, uh, uh, talk about the various areas in, in your business where you're today and over the last year, year and a half have been applying AI, right? I think, Surya, uh, the audience, I'm sure, is already well aware of the potential of AI in radiology. I think people are more important than ever and radiologists are more important than ever. But at the same time, we have seen practical applications of our AI plus a radiologist as a combination is significantly better than a lone radiologist. And as you correctly said, we've amassed a ton of data. And very simply, what we have, Surya, is tons and tons of image data, annotated image data, which is very important, and a corresponding report, which describes the image in a, in a very minute level of detail. And so you have an image and a very good textual representation. A big change that we have seen AI being able to bring to radiologists is reports are not half-baked or are not left in the middle. A clinician can now read a report from 5C and know very clearly what the next stage of action is. And that's because we have been able to take data and help radiologists by prompting them. Now let's go to the report side of the business. Yep. And that's very exciting with uh, uh, the kind of... Uh, applications of Gen AI you have done. Yep, we give extremely actionable reports. But we have learned from not being able to do that. And what we have done, Surya, is we have taken these massive 8 million plus report repository, understood fundamentally for every pathology, what is the correct way to describe it. So you got examples of good reports. Yes, and we have millions of good reports. Good reports. And we have millions of not so good not reports. So, good. so you've trained the... Uh, an existing large language model. Yes, you Mistral in this case, yes. So, but I, I do have to tell you that in 5C, LLM stand for two things. One is obviously large language models, but also lots and lots of manual labor, right? It is like, if you need to get a good and a repeatable output, yeah. uh, not, you know, write me a poem yeah. or give me an idea, which is what ChatGPT is used for. If you want a repeatable output that an extremely discerning user yeah. like a radiologist can uh, can use uh, let me tell you an llm doesn't is is lots and lots of manual labor uh, so you're you're over time as you get more data you're refining these models building new models and is it correct that for some of these disease models we have even got regulatory approval in india that is correct so the cdsco yeah. um, which is the the fda of india basically right. Right. Uh, now certifies and licenses softwares as medical devices, mm. just like the FDA does. And today you need a manufacturing license to be able to put out and use your software as medical device. Uh, and now we are at over 20 regulatory approved AI models, all live on 5C. Fantastic. Have you seen AI help with some of the other operational processes, workflow and bring in any efficiencies there? <laughs> When we get a scan from a center, a diagnostic center, we quickly realize that these guys are not doing all the sequences they need for a suspected finding. So, for example, in an MRI, if there's a suspected uh, pituitary tumor, the, the, the sequences that you would do in an MR would be different from a normal MRI brain. And even though the doctor suspects this, the technician does not know that. And so we built out a, a generative AI with guardrails, a bot that's called Protocol. And, and it helps technicians on demand understand for a particular suspected finding the exact list of sequences that they need to do. And so we, have, we are today serving more than a thousand requests every day. And uh, technicians are, uh, you yeah, know... And, and they have this available wherever they are. Yeah, yeah. In a on, on a like, mobile app. On, mobile like app. on our mobile app, a technician can just say, you know what, uh, I need to know how to... Uh, they, they just have to write MRI demyelination protocol. He, he could be three miles away from our head office. He could be halfway across. 3,000 miles, yeah. 3,000 miles away. Yeah, we have, uh, I mean, when you look at usage stats, we now have, what, users in five countries for this. Um, and I think a good thing that 
we have done in this is we've opened this up to every technician. You don't have to be explicitly working with 5C. You don't have to only send us a scan and then have this capability. You can, you if you are a technologist, we want to help you in the event that you have a doubt. I end on a humorous note. And what we do mm -hmm. is we ask chat GPT something. Got it. And hopefully it spits out something funny. I have to admit that today's is a bit lame. Okay. So we asked, uh, come back with a joke on radiology. Mm -hmm. And what it comes back with is, why did the x-ray machine get a promotion? Uh, because it had outstanding inside information, it seems. Very, that's not too bad, Surya. No, that's, it's, that's, it's a little bit inside. <laughs> it's a little bit insights about your insights. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Pleasure was mine, Surya. Coming. All the very best. Thank you. Yeah.